Let's get it pushing like a pregnancy, Chavez, Slovakia. It is five of the desert's deadliest animals, and I wonder if my cousin's on here. Yes, I am talking to you, you you beastly man, you. You're, you're a killer. You're vicious. All right, let's get it. They will kill you, YouTube channel. Thanks for the video suggestion, y'all. And you know I'm a nerd, so I'm going to watch stuff like this. And I don't know if there's much to say about it, other than the desert's got a lot of stuff that will murder you. And I'm assuming they mean desert like in Africa, which uh, should be really interesting. So let's do it, man. The desert is deadly. Here are five of its animals that will kill you. There you go. Right straight to the point, right? They will kill you. This guy knows what people like. Oh my God. Pause. Okay. All right. Play. Woo! Woo! Number five. I scared the fuck out of me. I scared the fuck out of me. African wild dogs can be found in the vast space of the South Sahara Desert. Do they Saharan kill people? Desert. They can also be seen at the edge of the Sahara's woodlands as well. These wild dogs are also known as painted dogs due to their dapper coats' wide color patterns. Dapper. Their Ooh, furs are individually fancy. unique as the patches can range in mixtures of yellow, black, red, white, This and man's brown. voice is so fancy. Packs dominated by a monogamous breeding pair. Its big, round ears are unlike any regular canine species, making them stand out from their species counterparts. They're kind of cute. Another difference is that African wild dogs like only a have four toes instead way. of five. Additionally, they hunt together in packs ranging from 6 to 20 canines. Damn. Some packs can even reach up to 40 members Damn. large. African wild dogs are known to be excellent at communicating and socializing. This works to their advantage as it allows them to take down big prey such this as... This is kind of describing uh, clicks in my Discord. <laughs> ...as wildebeests. The highest ranking females can bear up to 20 pups per litter. Since more humans have settled in Tanzania and northern Mozambique in the past few decades, the canines have learned to hunt for domesticated animals. <laughs> Consequently, this has caused settlers yeah. to hunt down the wild dogs in order to save their yeah. own farm animals. The numbers of African wild dogs have dropped significantly oh. over the last 20 years and thus kinda, are now endangered, leaving their population at approximately 6,600 canines. Oh my god, that's so little! Number four, lions. There are a few species of lions found throughout the planet. Yeah, they're going extinct the too, lions man. Lions are the second largest species in the feline family tree, second only to tigers, which are the largest. Lions are capable of reaching up to 250 pounds, man. and lionesses can reach up to 180 pounds. Lions are the only species in the feline genus to have a distinct sexual dimorphism. Of the two sexes, only the males are able to develop what is called a mane. The mane is what gives the male lions its unique characteristic, differing from the female lionesses or any other felines in its family tree. This mane encircles the male's entire head, acting as protective cover for its skull, while at the same time giving the lion its intimidation I thought it was just for look. intimidation. In I had no idea it had any other functions. The mane's color may change to more black and less blonde as it ages. Additionally, the changing of the mane's color is directly related to the lion's health at that present time. Lions may so spend is up darker, to 20 better, hours or a day resting healthy. and three to four hours walking and hunting. They're normally solitary predators, but only until they find a mate. Once the lions breed, a social <clears throat> hierarchy is created, which is called a pride. A pride of lions consists of one dominant male who is seen often leading his pride, with many related females as well as their offspring. If the pride happens to have two or more dominant males, it is then known as a coalition. A coalition can be created with exclusively the decisions of the two males. One dominant male may at times let another single male join his pride without mm. having a prior pride. In coalition, scenario, we could do something with that, man. My bad. The desert oh. is solitary predators. Oh. Hacks. Related females work together and two prides are combined, which increases the total amount of females and cubs. Once the lions find their pride, a social unit within the female is quickly formed with a hierarchy of rankings. Lionesses are the hunters That's in the so pride organized. since they're considered to be faster, more agile, and smaller. And the dudes sleep all goddamn day. To their attacks. Related females work together in each hunt with a strategic plan of attack. Intelligently, lions want to save as much energy as possible, their first choice being a scavenge for dead carcasses killed by other predators that could not finish their meals. The lionesses usually hunt at dawn and will only hunt if it's absolutely necessary. In the Ooh, plains of West hurt. Africa, these beasts will eat Aww. a variety of animal diets such as zebras, wildebeests, warthogs, and buffaloes. Within the last two decades, lion populations have dropped almost 50% in certain locations in Africa. This is mainly caused by conflicts with humans near new farms and villages. Lions are therefore hunted by these humans in order to save their own domesticated farm That seems farm to be animals. a very common these factors, theme West African here. lions have been endangered for many years. Yeah. 
Currently, wild lions are found in two places in the world, throughout parts of India and in the African sub-Saharan desert. Wow. Number three. Number three. Hyenas. Yeah, hyenas, bro. Them shits are hyenas dope. Hyenas are one of the oldest species in the feline phylogeny. Am I the only person who just, when you hear hyena, you just immediately think of the Lion King? Is that just me, or is that like everybody else, too? While evolution has slowly killed off many species of hyenas since the beginning of time, there are still four types of these animals left in the world today. The four species are known as spotted, striped, aardwolf, and brown hyenas. These brown hyenas are the ones that I've seen the most. Physical appearances. Although their body structure and movements may be canine-like, they behave with personalities similar to that of lions and tigers, as they also belong in the feline genus. Really? Unlike the other three species of hyenas that devour all parts of their kills, including the bones, hooves, and paws, the aardwolf is the only type that is not carnivorous. With its four legs higher than its hind legs, along with the neck built to aggressively attack and a powerful jaw, these vicious animals are big to have, allowing them to easily chomp down on their victims during a hunt. In fact, since the core front of the hyenas have such profound strength like the rest of their feline family, they never have to use their claws to pin their meals down. Animals such as hippos, <laughs> birds, insects, lizards, eggs, jackals, snakes, fish, Foxes, porcupines, wildebeests, and antelopes are all included as part Insects of the hyena's diet. Insects are on the they list? They can sometimes be scavengers and eat off of others' kills, but they're not lazy animals as 95% of their meals come from pure collaborations in their hunting wow. kills. With a maximum speed of 37 miles per hour, they live and hunt within what scientists call a clan. Recorded clans <laughs> the clan. in the past have reached up to 80 <laughs> socializing members. I think back there look like he's saying the clan. The clan does not accept you. They're not scared of the lion's territory either, and will kill the lion's cub <gasps> to show they mean business. The most commonly known species of hyena, the spotted hyena, can be found in the southern region of the Sahara Desert. Spotted hyenas are the only species that are led by a female in the clan. Oh. The reason is because the females are excessively aggressive when they attack their victims, and are normally larger than the males. On the other hand, the most rare type of hyena is the brown yeah. hyena. There currently remains only 10,000 adults in this wow. species. Some have a distinguished special ability to communicate with other clan members using their famous human-like laugh. The That's laugh the one that I hear the most about. It's the and which one. ranking member is speaking at the moment, showing a hierarchy within the clan. To communicate properly, each clan may have up to 10 different vocalization sounds. Furthermore, hyenas' ability to adapt allow them to inhabit a wide range of environments, from savannas to deserts or grasslands and even mountains. Number, Number two, two, Gila Monsters. First oh yeah, the dude, these Gila things Bossi, are cool. Yo, you see that largest... that lady who has a pet? One of those? Hold on, let me see. Okay, okay, look, I'm gonna just move on from that and just tell you what I found is a lady facing criminal charges for killing a Gila monster. Which makes me sad on the inside. This reptile that originates from the United States. Goddamn. These reptiles mostly reside in the deserts of Arizona, southern Nevada, New Mexico, and the southern tip of California's drylands. Some With a screwdriver for those who are hills, Reaching yeah, elevations up to 5,000 feet. Individually unique looking, these reptiles' bodies have a black base color with colorful patterns ranging from yellow, pink, and orange. Gila monsters can reach up to two feet in length, and some can weigh up to four or five pounds. The reptile is one of the only few lizards left in the world with a venomous system, besides the iguana and the monitor lizard. Gila's hunt animals such as insects, smaller lizards, carrion, birds, Ooh. and other small mammals. How the most interesting dead. fact about the reptile is how they inject their venom into their targets. They do not inject their venom by biting their prey. Instead, it's the gila's chewing motion on its victim's body parts that infuses the venom from their teeth into their soon-to-be meals. Once the neurotoxin is released into the prey's body, it will start to paralyze. The gila monster's venom toxicity can be compared to that of the diamond rattlesnake venom. Whoa. These reptiles are known to be solitary animals who enjoy spending most of their time in their burrows Why would you keep this out of a pet Because they then? have a special ability of storing fat in their tails and bodies. They have the advantage of not having to eat as often as other animals. They become active again in the springtime in order to find their ideal mate. Why would you keep as that as a, a pet? That's so this dangerous. For about three months. Another important factor on springtime's arrival is its seasonal food. As birds are mating and building nests, gila monsters are able to raid and hunt again for their favorite type of food, bird eggs. Other mm. animal diets may include small mammals, other lizards, insects, frogs, and carrion. 
females can lay anywhere from two to 12 eggs per mating season. Wow. And once she does, these venomous large lizards will spend most of their winter underground, nursing and protecting their eggs. In modern medicine, scientists have found a way to use an adult Gila saliva as part of a treatment for humans diagnosed with diabetes. Gila monsters are not endangered, but nevertheless are still protected under the diabetes. United States that makes animal me happy. conservation laws. Number, Number one, one, snakes. Just with its stocky body, short, my nigga, you can't do all of snakes. I hate lists to do this, but I feel tail it. and camouflage ability. The desert horn snake is one of the deadliest animals to cross the there dunes. There we go. It can be found in most North African countries surrounding the Sahara Desert, such as Egypt, Mali, Sudan, Libya, and Tunisia. Other places which these snakes have inhabited are the Arabic Peninsula, near the Moroccan Desert, and the countries of Oman and Jordan. The snake got its name from the infamous horned eyelids attached above its eyes. These horned eyelids are a survival trait used to more efficiently navigate the sand dunes and rugged rocks surrounding. This feature gives the snake its unique characteristic and makes them stand out from other desert snakes. The next deadly snake found in the desert is the horned viper, whose body horned has the same viper. color as the that sand, but with dope. additional striped golden brown crossbars consistently running down from its neck to its tail. The sand that sounds like a move from like attacking character or some shit. The horned viper. Over their prey. The horned viper's natural defense and attacking mechanism is to side slither itself down into the sand to a point where the snake completely blends in with its surroundings. It does this for three reasons. The first reason being that the sun is scorching during the day and reptiles need to maintain their body temperature. Okay. Therefore, they may hide themselves in other places as well, such as under rocks, small holes, or caves to stay cool. The second reason is that Cats it's a perfect out for the snake to wait for its meal to pass by before they attack. The last reason is for mating purposes. A Lit. bite from a horned viper will immediately inject 13 different types of toxins into its victim's body. It is Bro, known that the that venom creates a feeling as if someone is hole. literally squeezing your heart. Fortunately for humans, horned what? vipers what are not fuck? overly aggressive or protective of their territory. They are a nocturnal animal and hunt only at night for rodents, birds, insects, and lizards. These snakes can reach up to two feet in length when full grown. That's their fucking me up now. The is about 14 to 18 years. Find out today why the hyena. All right, I gotta get these damn headphones off. My, my, done, my, my cat done scared the hell out of me. That image is now fucking with me. It is too early in the morning for this shit. Chavez, Slovakia, I will see you guys around. I'm gonna go check my house for some damn snakes. I, the Gila monster's tripping me out because I know for a fact that that lady has a pet Gila monster and to hear that that shit is that poisonous. Doesn't that seem dangerous as hell? That dude bites you just for fun, bro, you out. Maybe because it's got to chew on you before he fucks you up? I'm gonna try my best to find that um, that video of that lady with that large lizard as a pet, but, but that shit's wild. That was a good list though. Definitely, those are all definitely things that could kill you. So I, I like it, man. They will kill you, YouTube channel. <laughs> you will die. We're gonna do one with insects, because you know I like insects, Chavez Slovakia. I'll see you guys in the next one. Y'all take it easy, man. Peace out, dude. Get on my level, get on my level, get on my level, get bitch. On my level. 36 in Minnesota, you know who you fucking with. Baby girl got the pistol hanging straight out of Prada bag. We don't care who you are or where you're from, we still run up on your like. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up with them cookies? I'm a triple OG, self proclaiming oh, yeah. street bang, you a rookie. Bang, bang. I'm a motherfucking problem with a problem, bang, 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 I'll just probably just spit this verse and make sure you just come in after oh, me. Yeah, we so damn great. Rap, pop, 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 Yeah, shake that ass on dick and make me come. Oh, yeah. I don't fuck with no nigga up top, I learned it. From. Okay. I will run in the streets all day and all, all night. And if all you don't night. believe that shit, I tell you shit you never seen. Right. DC Mel and that's the scene. Yeah, I'm call that day day and Dean. Peanut Boogie, Booby, Rico, my pretty boy, Crash, and Y'all D. Tell me if you see my niggas round my way for make believe. Yeah.